challenging the conventional conventional wisdom of pregnancy and what is really on or off limits for women who are expecting. Uh, for years, we've all heard about alcohol, caffeine, exercise, what you should be doing, what you definitely shouldn't be doing. Now a new book is uh, called, well, it's called Expecting Better, and it looks at research and tries to come up with some answers to those questions. And ABC's Paula Ferris has more. With all the rules and questions, how can any woman truly know what to expect when you're expecting? Who's this guy? Now, one Chicago economist says some of those age-old pregnancy do's and don'ts may not be true. Emily Oster, author of Expecting Better, used her love of statistics to comb through hundreds of pregnancy studies and came to her own conclusions. I found the conflicting advice that I got overwhelming and I wanted to get to the real facts. Rule number one, occasional adult beverages are off limits. <laughs> Not true, says Oster. I found that the evidence overwhelmingly suggested that having an occasional drink, even maybe a glass of wine a day, is, is not dangerous. Rule number two, pregnant women should cut out their morning cup of joe. Oster says not true. I found that uh, caffeine in moderation is also fine. Something like two to four cups a day, depending on exactly how cautious you want to be. Rule number three, adding a little life to your yard could harm your baby. True, says Oster. There's some risk of increased birth defects if you do a lot of outdoor gardening when you're pregnant. That can increase rates of toxoplasmosis. Oster is not a medical doctor, and many obstetricians disagree with her collective findings, especially on alcohol. There is no amount of alcohol in pregnancy that should be considered safe. Anything the mother ingests goes through the placenta and the bloodstream to the fetus. Take it or leave it, Oster hopes her research helps pregnant women draw their own conclusions. I think it's very important for women to take their pregnancies into their own hands and make decisions for themselves. For Good Morning America, Paula Ferris, ABC News, New York. Okay. Emily Oster's book, Expecting Better, Why the Conventional Pregnancy Wisdom is Wrong and What You Really Need to Know. It hits shelves August 20th, and we need to bring ABC's senior medical contributor, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, in now to talk about this. What do you make of all of these uh, sort of thoughts in the book and the change in perception? Look, in general, it's very important for people to understand there's a lot more to practicing medicine than crunching numbers. Patients should ask and doctors should explain the answers to four very important questions. What are the risks of doing something? What are the risks of not doing something, what are the benefits of doing something, and what are the benefits of not doing something, and then some options. I want to ask you about the alcohol thing because uh, for so many women it's just literally goodbye to alcohol for nine months as soon as you find out that you're pregnant. Right. Um, that was a pretty bold statement that you could have up to one glass a day. To say the least, and obstetricians and midwives all over the place are going to be doing the damage control I think to some extent. Fun fact though you guys, we used to use alcohol to stop preterm contractions. So so this is an example of quantity, how much are you talking about, okay? And there may be contradictory data about the risks involved, but there is very little data showing a clear benefit to the baby of drinking, right? So right. since it's an optional thing, most ob obstetricians will say, if you want to have one or two glasses at the end of your pregnancy, fine. Yeah. One drink a day, I would argue that's a lot if you're not pregnant. What about the exercise question marks? We should, even the, even the dads should exercise. So if you're, if you want to exercise, go right ahead. Non-pregnant or pregnant. All the way. Absolutely. And you know what, we have to remember, these aren't rules in pregnancy. The doctor and the obstetrician makes recommendations. The woman makes the decisions. Right. I was All just right. happy to have a role right there. That was <laughs> right. Aww, there you go, John. You have a, <laughs> just the men have a big role in pregnancy. Yeah. Yeah. Not, FYI. I'm not, I'm not late in the game. Uh, thanks, John. You bet.